Welcome back to channel 37. We're here to talk to you about the Multiplicant by Making Sound Machines. We were sent this beautiful module by Roland and Erika, who presented it at Superbowls 2022 last weekend in Berlin, and we got to build it just for the fun of it. This module is a 6 HP 4 channel precision mix multiple that has the capability to process both audio and CV. You can patch into any of these inputs to get three identical outputs for each. You can use this switch to sum either the top and the bottom channels separately, or to sum all of these channels together. But the multiplicant is more than just a precision mult. In fact, the backside has some more interesting features, particularly for sound artists and people who want to interface their Eurorack with platforms like an Arduino. Specifically, it has inputs and outputs that you can connect with patch cables to an Arduino, and even from your Arduino onwards to a computer system. So a module like this one could really help integrate your Euro rack with different development platforms. Now, like I said, we had the pleasure of building one of these. It's not hard. All of the surface mount parts were pre-soldered and we just had to mount the control hardware and the front panel. So we're gonna show you how to do that. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It would help us out a lot. And definitely make sure to check out Making Sound Machines website. There's a great manual, build guide and many patch suggestions for this module so you'll be richly rewarded and make sure to check out our other video on making sound machines 1000 db thank you that's it let's go to the build this is what we received from making sound machines here we have a sweet letter from them as well as two stickers. There are the PCBs, the components, and another PCB and front panel. Start by taking the PCB and the front panel out of their anti-static bag, and prepare component bags one and two. Let's start with all the pin headers. Place the pin headers in the indicated footprints. Then use a piece of cardboard to flip the entire PCB around, keeping all pin headers in place. Solder the corner pins first. Then remove the cardboard and solder all remaining pins. Wash the board with isopropyl alcohol to remove all remaining flux. Now place all jack sockets. Screw a nut on the switch and place it. Then place the front panel and fix it with two nuts. Now solder all connections. Then wash away remaining flux. Place the front panel and place all nuts. There are several jumpers on the back of the multiplicant. Place them as shown. That's it, your multiplicant is done.